City Business News understands that the ongoing global redundancy process will lead to the departure of 35% of the senior leadership of Talo Oil Ghana, as well as 25% job losses for overall staff made up of both Ghanaians and expatriates. The redundancy program will be done in three batches, with the first group of workers set to exit the company by March 2020. The second batch is expected to be laid off by June, and the last batch will depart in December. The redundancy program will be done in three batches, with the first group of workers set to exit the company by March 2020. The second batch is expected to be laid off by June, and the last batch will depart in December. Talo Oil Ghana has faced production challenges in its Jubilee fields, where it has been forced to re-inject gas in the absence of no immediate means of offloading gas to buyers. The gas re-injection has reportedly led to a cut of nearly 30% in production at the oil field. The Trinibua Inura Intum oil field has faced its own challenges as one of the production oil wells there suddenly had to be suspended. This was due to what is described as a sudden increased water cut, which is the ratio of water to oil in a production well. And more water means less oil and loss of revenue. According to provisional data released by the Bank of Ghana, this challenge led to a drop in the country's revenues and free cash flow by 30% and also caused Ghana's petroleum revenues for 2019 to fall by more than 4%. Talo Oil PLC's restructuring will allow the company to match its cost base to its expenditures as well as a lower production forecast of 75,000 barrels of oil per day in 2021 and beyond.